But the reason why we need to repot is repot is our spaghetti squash are growing ginormous and they're not going to have enough soil to put in enough roots to grow properly. Welcome everybody to my extra bedroom with the monkey hanging on the wall. I wanted to show you how our seed starts are doing and the varieties of plants isn't as important because the ones that we started too early we're just going to repot and we have a little extra space so it's not a problem. So I'll show you what we have going on, how the soil blocking worked, and then what pots we're going to use and the soil we're going to use to get them into a bigger container so they can keep growing because uh, we're still it's still the tail end of March and we won't be able to plant them outside until May 10th. Um, Mother's Day is usually when we do it here in Indiana. So we do have a variety of string beans and regular lettuce and Brussels sprouts and tomatoes but as you can see here these exceptionally long ones our spaghetti squash, which we saved from seed, we planted, uh, we had a couple of plants last year. We just grabbed, we basically pulled out a bunch of seeds from one of the plants, one of the squash before we cooked it. We just threw it on this tray and we just slid it under our dryer. Oh, spaghetti squash seeds. What we did was we just placed them on here and like threw them under and then we forgot about them. Uh, so over winter, they just dried out on their own. It really was no work. And we just put one in each little soil block. And these soil blocks have actually worked out pretty well. Let me show you how that process worked. It was a little messy, but worked out pretty well. Okay. Okay. Whoa, squish, squish. So we've been kind of compressing it when we put it in there. That way when you flip it, it kind of stays in there, but if you really want them to be full soil blocks, you're still going to have to like manually put it in there. We're not too worried about what it looks like, but we would like it to be as solid as possible. And then we can press it again. So hopefully they'll keep their shape. And then after that, you can kind of move them around a little bit, get them a little bit of space, and pop your seed in, and then pop a little dirt. Boop. This is the consistency that we ended up going with. They seem to be holding together really well. Um, it's more of a guess and check type of thing, but you can see just how solid it is. And then this is what they look like sitting in the tray. We'll see as they dry out if we have problems with them falling apart or not. Now I realize this is probably a lot different than other things you've seen on YouTube where there's fancy shelving and adjustable lights and all these different things, but we're just kind of making it up as we go with the lids of Tupperware. We've got a new plastic tray back there for the squash, um, but this has actually been pretty easy to work with. We just got a bucket of dirt down there, our soil blocker, and we're... We haven't made too big of a mess on the carpet, so that's good. But it's a place to start, and definitely we can tidy it up a little bit, make the process a little bit better, but we're getting great results just by throwing some stuff together. So why not? So I've done here, and I've just half-filled this, and I'll gingerly move this plant, which is tied up in the other one. I don't want to break the stem, but we're actually going to be burying the stem. So let's see if... I've overfilled, I have overfilled the pot. Perfect, exactly. Okay. And now, as you can see, oh, I want to break. I'm essentially going to rebury this plant, or a lot of the plant. Squashes can re root, just kind of like tomato plants, like some potatoes. All these little hairs on here kind of let you know that those can form roots. So we could actually bury it as long as, as deep as we want. Yeah, so the next ones I think we're gonna put almost, <laughs> almost at the very bottom of the pot because it could be buried all the way up to these, these first leaves here. Then you just water it in and put it back in its place. So here we all are, all potted up. We got water back in the trays. We got our lights on. This is all stuff that we got from Amazon. 
course these are the just random Tupperware lids as you can see I planted it pretty deep just to imagine the soil block probably topped out right here so we got all that for extensive growth one thing is because they're not in a soil block anymore we will have to water from the top just like we'll have to do that lettuce and we do still have some work because these peas need to be trimmed and probably repotted too. We got smaller pots for them. But we won't bother uh, recording all that. We'll just do it on our own. And I hope everybody got something from this video. We just wanted to show how kind of simple it can be. I've seen a lot of videos and the, the build up and the buying of trays and stands and all these other things and equipment just, you know, overwhelming. I just wanted to show that you can get some results and if you know anything about spaghetti squash, we're growing entirely too much spaghetti squash. Like seven plants is probably too much. So thank you again for watching and I hope you guys are getting your seeds started. It's never really too early. You know, you can just keep repotting as long as you got a light source and you feel like watering it. Um, but if you have an extra room like me and you have cats, you just gotta keep the door closed. So thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.